show. It is the four of the game grand final extravaganza. Um, I know Stephen is. He's focused. Yep. He knows where he is. He knows the significance of tomorrow's game. Check it out. Um, yeah, well, it's you know, the biggest game of the week, so... Uh, Brian Lake, though, very chilled out uh, playing for the Hawks, yeah. and he uh, told us during the week just how chilled out he was. It's just another league, isn't it? It's, it's a little bit more up for grabs, but I'll still go out there and do my shopping down at Caroline Springs, and if there's any bargains, I'll let you know. It's, it's, it's one of the things I love about our great game, the uh, supporters can come together and cohabitate. Here's a classic example. Here are the Frio fans enjoying a day out in Melbourne, and we make them feel welcome. Here's the locals. <laughs> we know Dustin Martin's not going to Melbourne and Andrew, you were good enough to tell us exactly <laughs> why recently. <laughs> As Paul Roos, we all know he, he's got a, as he describes it, a no-dickhead policy. Uh, <laughs> person. I'm not saying that's Dustin. <laughs> I was kind of hoping Dane Swan would win it, though, because I was watching him closely throughout the evening, and that would have been one of the best speeches of all time. <laughs> Had he got up. I've got to show you a little example of a Dane in action. This is all from round 23. <laughs> Have a look at this. One, round 23. Two, this, is, this is the last round. Have a look at how many sips he has. Bang, here we go. Not done yet. This one is a chance to win. <laughs> here we go. Have another one. There you go. Look at the other two sitting there, po face. Not me. I'm going to have another crack at this. <laughs> Joe Watson, but no one loves you more than your coach. Well, he'll be your coach again in another year. But who, James, Hurd, <laughs> he loves you the most. Here's James talking about you. You meet Joe Watson, you, you, start, you automatically just go, wow, what, what a person. Um, he's got great charisma, great character, engaging, hardworking, um, and, a, and a great heart. So he's one of the best people you'll meet. I mean, that was an amazing, it was amazing, a uh, little, uh, that was great. No one about that. <laughs> but um, we've got some exclusive footage here, which is, he actually took it further. This really? is amazing, and you need to explain this. Let's have a look at this in the room. So, I mean. <laughs> 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 we need to know. We need to know. Did, did you say yes? <laughs> you know, you are, you were voted by the players as the hardest man and the toughest man in the competition. And it was nice to see you answer some questions about the weekend uh, during uh, the weekend. Yeah, I mean, we'll go away and we haven't had time to obviously look over how we finished up and went out. So, um, but yeah, we've got to play better footy probably come the end of the year. I mean, you look great, don't get me wrong, but you'd ever look like this guy. Let's have a look at you, uh, Jager. Jager. Yeah, let's have a look at this. This is you after round one. Channel 7 cameraman really knew where the action was. And um, watch this. This is the bit I like. Here we go. Um, have a look at that, oh. ladies. <laughs> Do you know the cameras are on you in the rooms? Uh, I didn't at that stage, no. Yeah. Well, <laughs> enjoy it while you can, Jager, because this is how it all ends up, I'm afraid. Um... <laughs> reflect on some of the highlights from 
more into this kid. Listen to this exchange. Who are you going for? Great. No, you're not going to pick.